secret call by the U.S. ambassador to U.N. or whatever it is to call in somebody and tell them that if you do this and that, if you insist on this as your bargaining position, we will do something and so on. I know so many such stories. Point four, get down from the idea of having a separate mandate from God, even a mandate to kill. Uh, the word is dialogue. The word is simply to say, we have something that we can contribute. And do you have from this marvelous, generous country? But others also have something. For instance, it seems that the Muslims have some good ideas about banking, like not lending more than 30 percent of your capital. Well, if your upper limit is 2,400 or something like that, then you're a little bit high. And if that limit is considered too high and is abolished in 2004, then the sky is the limit. Down it came. And it'll come down again. U.S. is today probably heading for a rather important crash and, in all probability, for a major devaluation of its currency. But let us leave that aside. Let us just say a new economic relations to other countries, conflict resolution instead of bases and invasions and interventions and special forces all around the world, negotiations with open cards without threats, and dialogue. Dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. All the Americans I know very well, and many of them Jewish Americans, have extremely good talents for this. Why couldn't that be more the tone and the tenor of U.S. policy? We have two minutes uh, before the satellite ends. Johan Galtung, as you leave the United States, what do you want to leave um, uh, U.S. Uh, people here in the U.S. with? Your thoughts? We're making the distinction between the empire and the republic and that the Republic could do beautifully without the Empire, like so many others have done before them. I can give you general public opinion studies around the world, let us say in Muslim countries. About 85 percent love the United States of America, like I and my Japanese wife do. About 85 percent <laughs> hate U.S. foreign policy. You see, take that seriously. Just have a look at your military, economic, political and cultural foreign policy. They can be changed. It's even relatively easy. Make yourself a normal country. No exceptionalism, please. A normal, wonderful country. Maybe you will find it in your interest to make North America a region, a Mexican, a Mexico, United States, Canada. That could also be a shiny light, with Mexico as a bridge to Latin America, which is now finding its own ways outside the organization of American states, a Latin American region. Well, put your fingers in the earth, find out where you are, and you will find marvelous roads forward for an ever better American Republic. Johann Galtung, founder of Peace Studies. His latest book is called The Fall of the U.S. Empire, and Then What? You can get a DVD of today's broadcast at democracynow.org. Oh, and by the way, Democracy Now! has two job openings, full-time here in New York, chief broadcast engineer to manage audio and video technical operations, also social media and communications manager. You can go to our website at democracynow.org for more details. Democracy Now! is produced by Mike Burke, Shreve Fabrokadus, Aaron Mate, Anjali Comet, Steve Martinez, Nicole Salazar, Hani Massoud, Robbie Karen, Mike DeFilippo, Peter Curries, Miguel Nagara, our engineer. Years. Special thanks also to Julie Crosby, Becca Staley, Nick Gilla, Hugh Grant, Samantha Chamblee, Miriam Barnard, Brenda Murad, Jessel Noor, John Gerberg, Vesta Godars. Our website is democracynow.org. You can follow us on Twitter there. You can also read our full transcripts and see the video and audio podcast. We're also streaming there at democracynow.org. Tell your friends about independent media. You are the hope for this broadcast and independent media around the country and around the world. I'm Amy Goodman. Thanks so much for joining us.